Let's talk about self-care ideas for 2021. Welcome to The Omar Show. These COVID times have not been easy and with the virus not going anywhere soon, our New Year self-care should be focused on healing, growing and taking the best care of yourself in this current situation in the healthiest way possible. I want you all to take a minute or more and take a look around you. Look at your current routine, your lifestyle, loved ones, and how much time have you been investing in self-maintenance and self-care. This year, I explained the difference between the two on my Instagram during my self-care week. Basically, all that you're doing for your daily maintenance, like your basic skincare routine, diet, daily exercise, this is all self-maintenance. Self-care is taking extra measures, extra time just for your own self, going an extra mile for your physical, mental and spiritual health. Now, when it comes to self-care, I believe and preach everyone to pick what's best for themselves, what makes them happy and indulging in activities that nourish their mind, body and soul. But I also understand sometimes we just need a little push and a few ideas to see and find what we like and what works for us. So I'm going to share some ideas for self-care that are very well suited to 2021 for your physical, mental and spiritual health. You can try some of these or you can find your own variations as well. I just really want you to remain healthy, happy and strong in 2021. <laughs> First up, improving immunity and gut health. Now you must know by now how important is immunity in times like this. Every healthcare practitioner is advising to focus on more immunity boosting diets and practices. Now why I mention immunity and gut health in the same sentence is because our immunity is very closely related to our gut health. Actually 70% of our immune system is housed in our gut. When there is an imbalance in your gut, such as an overgrowth of bad bacteria, it can confuse your immune system, causing it to start attacking your own cells. If your immune system is busy reacting to healthy cells, not only is it easier for you to get sick, it's also harder for your body to recover. That is why taking steps to ensure your digestive system is functioning properly is an essential part of maintaining your overall health. Number two, indulging in activities you love. With stressful times, I personally don't think hitting the gym should be enough. How about indulging in a physical activity you love rather than just hitting the machines? Wouldn't that make you happier and help you release stress as well? Not only that, a physical activity that you love will make it easier for you to make it a part of your daily routine. It can be anything. It can be cycling, long walks, playing outdoor games, skipping, and the favorite of all, dancing. Just pick an activity that you love or maybe even more to add them to your routine for your relaxation and blowing off steam. I'm sure a positive and a happier you will have a positive effect on your body as well. Setting your screen time. Binge watching was something we were all already guilty of before the COVID days. With staying at home all day, we have doubled, if not tripled the time we spent staring at our mobile, computer and TV screens. Increased screen time not only affects our vision, but it also makes us irritable and sluggish. And in some cases, people claim that it also has caused them headaches. So it's very important to set a screen time so that you don't do too much damage to your eyes. If you're working or studying, try to take five minutes break after every 30 minutes of screen time to rest your eyes and brain. And if you're free at home, set a strict screen time and use the rest of your time on productive things. Building and sticking to a routine. Routines are extremely healthy for your mind. Routines project the image 
of stability onto our brains and stability as you well know makes us feel calm and collected. So it's really important that you build yourself a healthy routine and learn to follow it religiously to get that sense of stability and security you had before COVID. Learning to say no. Ah, I understand, it's hard. Sadly, it's a habit that takes quite long to learn, but it's just so essential for you and your mind. Learning to say no is one of the healthiest things you can do for your peace of mind. Don't we all regret it when we are guilt-tripped into something that we don't want to do? Worse, if we don't even have the energy to do it in the first place. This might have adverse effects on your health. That's why practice saying no. Make a buddy out of your loved ones and ask them to help you practice or just ask yourself when asked for a favor, do I have the energy to do this? If the answer is no, then your answer should be no as well. Gratitude journaling. This is one of my favorite self-care activities, expressing gratitude. You can't even imagine the positive effects it can have on your spiritual and emotional health unless you've tried it. Every day I write all the things I'm grateful for, good and bad, in my journal. It helps me realize all the good in my life and recognize how strong I was through all the bad things and how they actually helped me grow kinder and stronger. Now you don't have to write it, you can just think of 10 things you're grateful for before going to sleep and I'm sure you would have a peaceful sleep and you'll wake up happier too. Embarking on a spiritual journey. This is the year to find, understand and heal your soul. It's time you embark on a spiritual journey where you learn to recognize your emotions, find your emotional triggers, work on healing your traumas and just try to transform yourself into a better and more aware person. This is the most important thing you can do for your soul, mind, and even your body. You learn to be less affected by negative factors, outgrow the toxic environment, and just become kinder, but more confident about yourself as well. 2021 should be the year you get to heal your wounds and know who you are. 2021 should be all about love, health, and wellness. It's time to show yourself love, and only then you'll be better at sharing all the love with others as well. Build healthy connections with people and build healthy connection with yourself. Stay safe, healthy, and loved. I hope this episode inspires you to take care of yourself better. If you want more self-care tips, follow me on Instagram. And if you're looking to learn something that will empower you and make you take care of yourself better, then go on to my website and check out my online courses, Holistic Skincare Masterclass, as well as seven day facelift live classes, where I teach you everything you need to know about face yoga and face massage to lift your face as well as your spirit. You can also join my membership program, the Holistic Lift Lounge. All details on my website. I'll see you next week. Sending you lots of love and health.